There was a famous experiment conducted by Eratosthenes. Tosthenes. Eratosthenes. And there are two cities in the old world, mm -hmm. and one of them, they knew that at 12 noon on a particular day of the year, that the sun was directly overhead, and you could see the bottom of a well. How can we use this observation to see if Earth's surface is curved? We need another well. Turns out we can't see the bottom of both wells at the same time. What might explain this? Well, there are two possible explanations. First, we could have a flat Earth with the sun that's small and close by, so that the light hits the second well at an angle. Or second, we could have a curved Earth with a sun that's big and far away, so that all the light comes in parallel, but only one well at a time is lit all the way to the bottom. Turns out with just two wells, there's enough wiggle room for both explanations to fit our observation. Eratosthenes only had two wells, but what if he had added a third? With a third well, it doesn't matter where the sun is. No flat Earth model can explain the angles of all three shadows. But the spherical model explains it all all three angles with ease. How could it be, Eratosthenes asked, that at the same instant there was no shadow at Syene and a very substantial shadow at Alexandria? The only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. <laughs>